Hey guys, so we're on board now. Very excited to be heading off to Dubai and Saudi. So of course I wanted to take you guys along and vlog my experiences there. I'm just saying a hubby, I'm so excited because this is our first trip to the Middle East. I brought Miss Pearlie, my K28. She's excited, I'm excited. And I'm just saying here, I'm wearing this set I have mentioned before. It is just from Gentle Herd, 100% cashmere. I want to be comfy on a long haul flight. So if I find a code, I will link it down below as well. So I do want to put a little disclaimer out there and say, we do know that in Saudi, there have been some injustices that have happened in the past, but we are going there with open minds and open hearts. They are really opening up to the world and they really do actually want to change. So cheers to new adventures and we are super excited. to the hotel we are staying at the Hilton which is right in the center of Riyadh and this is the hotel room so just very modern first thing I notice is always the artwork I always bring my on the go tote guys the on the go GM is the perfect bag for travel and then we even got on the flight a little bulgari kind of case with perfume and everything so just gonna rest up a bit and then the program is gonna start tomorrow okay, so we've made it to the breakfast bar all right got some waffles different condiments for the waffles which look great some berries you got some kunafa I'm not sure what that is and you can see here you got some different condiments but the Baal Madamas, this looks great, and the Syrian Fata, that looks yeah. Hello my loves, so just with the group now and I think we are at Riyadh Point so just going to go have some lunch. The group is all behind me, getting to meet everyone, so I'll catch you in a bit.
welcome to our room in Alula. Very, very traditional, actually. Look at the wallpaper. <laughs> a.m. super early start today we are in um, in front of this tomb I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you we're gonna take some photos and I think we're gonna go have some breakfast later everyone is pretty tired <laughs> as you can see look at my eyes and we're all gonna, gonna take desert photos we've got the pro photographer there we're gonna get little tips on what to do but Look at this. Is this not just beautiful? Okay guys, let me show you a 360 of what I'm seeing. It is, yeah, not that cold now actually. So I'm just gonna do a 360. You can see a lot of beautiful rock formations. Now the sun's gonna be yeah, but that is amazing, that tomb. Everyone's just taking photos. Never thought that I would be coming to a place like this, but taking photos in nature, there's just something very serene and calming about it. <laughs> so I'm off to take some more photos, but I think today is gonna be very, very, very busy, frantic, but so worth it. <laughs> and yeah look I'm gonna turn around and we are going in there there's hubs and this is just so fun just really enjoying this definitely could get used to travel vlogging I think it's a little bit bright but I think this one we may be able to go in so if we're able to go in of course I will vlog for you guys but I guess this trip is something a bit different. It's, I guess, opening our eyes up to other parts of the world, opening our eyes to cultures maybe we haven't experienced after we all went through the pandemic. I know for one, something that's definitely on you know, my bucket list is to be able to travel more, experience things I haven't before, taste foods I haven't before. So I'm very grateful to be able to go on this trip and Saudi. What a start. So just in the inside of one of the tombs, we are only allowed in one of them. There's about 33 here. And yeah, it's very interesting. Look at the shape of the rocks, guys. We're going in here take some photos. This mountain is called Jabal Ithlib or Ithlib Mountain and Ithlib Mountain is considered one of the most important places in the whole uh, area, Hegra area because it's located in the center of the north side of Hegra. Uh, what is Hegra? Some people believe that Hegra is just the heritage site where we are now. <laughs> Although it's not just the heritage site, it's more big, more wide area. Take a look at the mountains in the back over there. You're going to see that the mountains form a wall surrounding the whole area, closing it. Because the word al hijr in Arabic, it means the closed area. So everything inside the surrounding of these mountains is hidden. So we're at a pit stop. 
stop and there are some horses here. Look at this beauty. It looks so chill, just chill. Hey guys, just a quick update. Look at this gorgeous seating behind me. So we have arrived, we're about to have a late brunch. We're gonna go on a little car, not a little car, what are the little golf cart? And then head up to breakfast. Okay, so we're in the little golf cart now, heading up to Brekkie. Look at all the rock formations, it's so cool. Just arrived to breakfast. We've got a swimming pool here. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Hi my love, so we have arrived to our next destination. This literally is like a big mirror in the desert, as you can see behind me. But it is amazing, it's, it's, it's humongous. Oh, I'm loving this trip. Loving it, loving it. Look at this. Oh, can I go up to the top, can you see? So, yeah, I'm gonna go take some pictures now. an art installation in the middle of the desert, I guess. This is called the Mirage, as you can see. Literally looks like a mirage. And all the crew are behind us. So, little story. We kind of got a little bit lost. Our driver took us up somewhere random. I got so separated from the group. Still, still nonetheless,
So here we are, about to have lunch and they definitely sell dates here a lot. It's quite known for all their dates. They're just walking to lunch now. There's going to be a lot of construction here. I love seeing the local shops, the local arts and crafts, and the buildings. Look at these buildings. As the name suggests, the rock literally looks like an elephant. I'll flip the camera around to show you. There's some gorgeous seating area there, which I'll take photos as well, but let me flip the camera around now. So as you can see, the rock formation looks like an elephant, hence why the name Elephant Rock. It's obviously very, very busy now. As you can see, a lot of people, it's sort of like the sun is setting. It's beautiful. The weather is just perfect now at the moment. Not too hot, not too cold, just a really soft, gentle breeze. Okay, so we're at dinner, we're not hungry, but it is a really nice restaurant. The team's there, everyone's there. Okay, let's sit down. Look how amazing this looks. So traditional and we will be sitting down enjoying this feast. So we just got told that's camel, chicken and lamb. This should be interesting. crowd and I thought it might be fun just to have a look at what the women wear here and just the different types of traditional dress that they are wearing so let me flip the camera around and I will show you some of the outfits that I think are pretty fashionable
guys. Can you hear the traditional music behind me? So it's pretty loud. So I'm just filming from a distance. I'll try and insert some footage there. This is actually International Jockey Day, as I said. So I've just got a very simple silk scarf just to cover my head up. These are my Chanel pearl earrings by Belle, which is actually a necklace. And then I've just got some culottes on. And the bag I'm carrying today is my Kelly. So here are the winners of the International Jockey Challenge. Good to see a girl up there. So this is after several rounds. Actually, the first place winner is Caitlin Jones. Woohoo! Good morning, my love. So here we are in the old capital of Saudi. It is called Diria. And look, as you can see, it's very kind of old buildings and everything. So we're about to take a tour. So I'll show you more inside. Hello my loves, so we are in the car at the moment. We are heading to the Saudi Cup. Yesterday was a bit of a disaster as I told you guys about because we were stuck in the car for a while but today it looks like we'll be there earlier. But I'm in the car with, I'm gonna flip it around. You guys are going to know her. So, actually I'll do it this way. Hello, Hi, this is Jamie. I think all of you guys will know her but I will. <laughs> leave her channel down below of course and dots Hi. you have to see her instagram i'm going to leave it down below she is she takes the most beautiful beautiful travel photography thank you so the trip has been so good our group has been great oh, hasn't yes. it right yes we all had fun and this Jamie, is like where's your perfect. outfit from like I ordered it online. You ordered online? Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. It's this But beautiful... I can tell you where my headdress is yes, from. Where's your headdress it's from? from this brand called Rosentica. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. I love... They love Rosentica bags. They yes, yeah, yeah. yes. It's beautiful. So I, I wore this on my last Saudi trip. It's so beautiful. And, Look at um, all the embellishments yes. and the beautiful kind of aqua color. Gorgeous. And just to quickly show you my outfits from Camilla with Love and, you know, Australian designer, you guys know I love Australian designers and a bit of embellishment and everything and I've got my vintage Chanel earrings on. Hey guys, so we are in an art exhibition at the moment and this is quite a big deal because it's the first time they've had both local artists and international renowned artists in the same place. So you can see all the artwork behind me. I'll film a little bit of it and we're just going on a tour of it now. Look at that one there, that's so cool with the world map which is made in all cassette tapes by a local Saudi artist. 
Yeah, so that one is pretty amazing. So this one is by a British artist. And what's really cool about this is that he was saying, see within the circle and outside the circle, it's to represent things that you can't control. And then see, or here, he's used sort of his fingers and uh, painted that. So those are things you can control. I guess that's sort of like life, isn't it? Like there's always things you can and you can't control. and her sister every day doing everything negative and positive. Everyone makes a lot of mistakes, right? So she's saying that at the same time, we do a lot of good deeds, we do a lot of good things. So she's talking about the negatives and the positives. Saudi sites from all around Saudi Arabia. So what the artist is trying to tell is that this is all the old memories. So any old people, if they come here and they look at this art, they're like, oh, they get reminded of their old days. Hey guys, so I'm going to end my Saudi vlog here. Oh my goodness. It has been a jam-packed trip but it was so worth it this was my first ever travel sort of trip and yeah i just loved it i love seeing saudi arabia i love experiencing their culture and i just think generally when you go visit a place keep an open mind to everything i mean i didn't know what to expect at all and i was amazed at how wonderful and nice the people were here and just how beautiful some of the places were, how historic they were. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and coming along with me. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much guys for all your support and I will catch you soon in my next video. Bye guys.